Welcome back everyone. In this video I'm going to teach you how to play the hymn There is a Fountain. You can find the chord chart linked in this video's description and under that you'll find a link that'll take you to tutorial videos of each of the song's chords. If you want to learn more songs once this video is over, including plenty more hymns, you can click on link number three which will take you to a spreadsheet containing all of my chord charts and song tutorial videos. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go over the timing of the chords in the song and after that if you stick around I'm going to play all the way through it so that you have an opportunity to practice along with me assuming that my voice holds up all the way to the end because this gets really, really high for my range. Now, um, the first thing that I recommend that you do then is print out a copy of that chord chart, which again is linked in the first link of the description, and uh, then just get ready to write in the number of beats per chord as I call them out to you. So here we go. Here is a demonstration of verse one. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains lose all their guilty So that's really darn high. <laughs> it's going all the way up to an F sharp. I should probably doing, be doing a falsetto break, but instead I'm trying to hit it with head voice. So um, here is the timing for um, those chords. So that starting with line one, there, D for four, two, three, four. G over filled is for two. D over blood is for six. And then the A over veins is going to be four. One, two, three. For line two, we have D for four, followed by G for two. D over flood is going to be for four. A over guilty is two. D over stains is four. Now we're on line through three. Lose all. That's going to be a D for two, then A for guilty. That one sneaked up on me before. G over stains for four. Now the D over all is going to be for four. A over stains is going to be for four. Last line of the verse, we have D for four. G over neath for two. D over flood for four. A over guilty for two. D over stains for four. All right, so that's the timing for one of the verses. You can actually copy uh, that verse all the way down, like however many beats per chord for verse one, just copy it all the way down. Um, and um, so now uh, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to play along with me. And um, so as I sing through the song and play through the song, um, you can follow along in the chord chart. And if you want to do it at a slower pace, then you can adjust the playback settings of this video to 0.75x speed. That'll make it a little easier to keep up. So um, I think I'm just gonna do um, one more of the verses, uh, especially because it's so high. <laughs> So um, I'm going to do verse 3, and um, let us begin. I'm going to just strum us in with a D, and I'm going to do a more complex strum pattern than what I was doing before. That was just for counting purposes. So verse 3. Dear dying lamb, thy precious blood shall never its power till all the ransom church of God be saved to sin no more be saved 
Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, etc. And <laughs> goodness, I'm all tongue tied now. And uh, I should have done the last verse, which says, "When this poor lisping, stammering tongue." <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for watching, subscribing, etc. Whatever. And I look forward to seeing you next time. God bless.